Today is January 16th, and Pastor is saying to us, We are the hope of the nations. Our opening scripture comes from the book of Ezekiel, chapter 22, verse 29. The people of the land have used oppression and exercised robbery, and have vexed the poor and needy. Yea, they have oppressed the stranger wrongfully. One of the reasons judgment will come on the world is the injustice and oppression that's prevalent in different nations today. You'll find organizations, agencies, and even governments enacting policies that oppress their people. They use regulations to crush and further impoverish the already poor and needy in their societies, while creating opportunities for themselves and their allies. For some, this problem is merely a political issue, but we know from the scriptures that it's more than just politics, it's spiritual. The Bible tells us in the book of Isaiah how an evil spirit is responsible for the impoverishment of many nations in the world today. I removed the boundaries of nations and plundered their treasures. Like a mighty one, I subdued their kings. As one reaches into a nest, so my hand reached for the wealth of the nations. As people gather abandoned eggs, so I gather all the countries. Not one flapped a wing or opened its mouth to chirp. Isaiah chapter 10 verses 13 and 14 of the New International Version. Many ignorantly suppose that the downward trend in their economies is due to market forces. But the Bible makes it clear who plunders their wealth. That's why we must keep praying for the nations, so that instead of oppression and injustice, there will be peace, godliness, and honesty. He knows this is possible in our day. That's why he asks us to pray. Let's exercise our authority and dominion in Christ over the nations. We're the only ones that can free the nations. The Bible says the whole creation is in groaning, expecting to be set free, waiting for the manifestation of the sons of God. Romans chapter 8 verse 19. We have the authority in the name of Jesus to turn things around in the nations. So, use the name of Jesus against these demonic powers and break their hold and influence. Declare, by the Spirit, the power of righteousness upon the leaders of your community, city, town, nation, or organization where you work. In Jesus' name, amen. Please say this confession with me. I declare that the gospel has free course throughout my nation and the righteousness of God is established in the land and in the hearts of men. The word of God prevails in this country. Name your country. Leading to a greater harvest of souls into the kingdom. In Jesus' name, amen. For further study, please read 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 7, Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 7, and Romans chapter 8, verses 19 to 22. For the one-year Bible reading plan, please read Matthew chapter 12, verses 1 to 21 and Genesis chapters 38 to 39. For the two-year Bible reading plan, please read Acts chapter 9, verses 32 to 43, and Job chapters 3 to 4. Glad to see a reality.